Paquito Navarro and Juan Lebron played together in 2019 and they were number one in the world. That was three years ago, but in the last World Paddle Cup in Dubai 2022, they played together again. They played against Tapia and Chingoto in the final in a great match in three sets. So today we are gonna analyze the best plays of that match to learn from the best. Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. Let's start with the first play of the video. Lebron does a good backhand volley and then Paquito does another forehand volley keeping Chingoto on the middle of the court. What should we do if we have an opponent on the middle? We should direct our ball to the corner that in other words mean to direct our ball to the free space. However, Lebron's next volley would have been more effective if instead of hitting the side wall first it would have hit the back wall and gone forward. Chingoto does a very good love and wins the net, but Lebron does magic once again. The key to Juan's last shot is the power. That ball has the exact speed to prevent Tapia from recovering it after bounce off the wall. Very good Juan Lebron, but should we go for more? In this play I want to highlight two shots. The first one is Lebron Chiquita to Chingoto's forehand. Juan Lebron is a specialist in that shot, but he has a trick. His trick is to be subscribed to the fourth set. If you are subscribed to the channel in your next match, you will smash like Lebron, 100% sure, no fake. Besides jokes, Juan's trick is to not hit the ball. So how is that possible? Actually, what Lebron does is push the ball and take advantage of the power and direction of the rebound. The second shot is Paquito's Bajada, who instead of hitting it hard, decides to choose a slower shot at Chingoto's feet. But the key is that Paquito, once he hits the ball, advances in the same direction, so once Chingoto returns the ball, Paquito is close to it, reducing angles. Let's go with the third play in today's video. The whole play changes when Lebron does a great lob with his volley. That lob is a fast lob aimed at Chingoto's left shoulder, the weak point of any right side player. Tapia decides to help Chingoto but leaves a lot of space so Lebron takes advantage of it. Tapia defends himself but Paquito has an easy ball to define. So what to learn from this play? Try always to direct your love to the left shoulder of the right side player, especially if you play on the right side of the court. Let's go now to the fourth play of the video. <laughs> A miscommunication happens even to the best players in the world. Paquito and Lebron not being used to playing together doubt twice who should hit the ball. In the first one, Lebron managed to hit it at the last moment, but the key is his net shot. He places the ball in Agustin's backhand volley, but very high. With that shot, 
Tapia can't do any damage and that's when Paco decides to do a new lob and advance to the net. In the second miscommunication, Juan has to hit the bandeja with his backhand due to the lack of time. But please, always try to position yourself to not hit the ball like that because you will not have power or control. And actually Lebron was really close to miss that shot. And now let's go to the fifth play of this video a Juan Lebron smash. To do a good smash, you must always be well positioned on the court and for that you need time. If we look at Juan's fake smash, he was not so comfortable and seeing that Chingoto and Tapia were running forward, he prefers not to do the smash. Chingoto recovers the ball, do a lob again and now Juan has more time to position himself well and do a good smash. Although it is true that it was not the best smash because the court in Dubai was quite slow but Juan decided well when to smash. Let's go with the sixth play of this video and pay attention because it's really nice. We see again the same thing I was talking about before with Paco but this time with Juan. Lebron does a chiquita and runs in the same direction in which he has direct his ball. Tapia gives the ball back to Lebron and Lebron does the same lob as before. A lob to the left shoulder but this time from Tapia. There is a problem when you do a lob to the left shoulder of the player who is located on the left side of the court. Why? because you allow him to do a bandeja to the fence. This time Tapia was trying to find the space between Paquito and Lebron. And watch out for another key. Lebron, seeing that Chingoto is going to hit the bandeja very forced, decides to hit the shot early and direct the ball to Chingoto's side to be able to recover the net. Penultimate play of today's video. Same situation as in previous plays but this time it's Paquito the one who directs his lob to Chingoto's left shoulder. Tapia comes back to help his partner and Lebron seeing that the two Argentinian players were badly positioned tricks them with another ball with just the right speed. Last play of today's video so let's analyze it. Chingoto does a good love and moves Juan so he knows that he has generated space on Lebron's right side. Seeing that Lebron's bandeja is not very powerful, he decides to play right after the bounce. However, Paquito anticipates and knows that Chingoto is going to direct the ball to Lebron's side to win the net, so he does a shot before this happens. Chingoto changed the grip to return the ball, but Lebron, taking the right space, managed to get the ball out of the court. Do you want to watch more videos analyzing a specific player? Leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and see ya in the next video. Ciao!